good morning guys yes indeed it is a good morning it is Sunday morning again yep and we are heading out of town yes indeed we are we're going to uh, drive in again like we did last Sunday and then we're uh, on our way to Rhinelander Wisconsin just keeping an eye on my truck to see if it's smoking like crazy but it ain't doing that so that's awesome we have finally figured out what's wrong with that turbo so now we uh, we know what the problem is it's the turbo because uh, the EGR valve was bypassed and uh, what they do is when they bypass it is they open up the turbo up to a certain point and then they screw it tight so it can't open or close anymore like the way that it's designed to do so uh, so now because we reinstalled everything it's supposed to open and close like the fan blades in there and that's not happening properly so because uh, it's been like that for who knows how long probably five years plus and now the turbo doesn't want to open and close properly right and so sometimes it gets stuck being closed and then every once in a while it would open up a little bit and that's why i was getting more power right so what the mechanics have done now is basically put a white script to it open her all the way up and we got great power no more smoke we do great on fuel mileage like we used to we're good to go basically put it the way it used to be except my agr valve is still working <laughs> so so yeah so we're going to drive like that for a while because i cannot afford a new turbo and so i mean unless it blows up we're going to have no choice to change it right but uh other than that we're just gonna give it a few months here probably wait till next year and I will get a change next year I just cannot afford to do anything more on the truck I mean the shop would be nice enough to you know loan me the money or you know just put it on and make payments on it but I hate to do that to the shop too you know I you know if I do something for somebody I would like to get paid right away and so do they you know like they would like to get paid right away too so so I ain't gonna do that uh, I mean I'm gonna take that chance I mean it's an expensive turbo if it blows up it blows up simple as that then we're just gonna have to get towed to a shop somewhere and get it fixed and be done with it but uh, hey, we're gonna take our chances and uh, continue on going I mean Turbo is held up until now with uh, being, it being that way, right? So why should it all of a sudden blow now, right? I mean, yeah, it is starting to get on the verge of, you know, a sign of it getting old, but uh, whatever, we're still going to continue cruising along. We'll see how long it lasts or until we change it, until we decide to change it. Simple as that. But anyways, uh, beautiful Sunday morning. It's supposed to be raining later on today, but so far it's a beautiful day. So, hey, I'll take it. It's a little on the cool side, but hey, what do you expect? It's fall, right? We are just about to leave Manitoba. Yes, indeed we are. We got these two valleys that kind of we got to go through and that's it. And we will be in Ontario. Let's see if this chicken house will be open. Scale rider. Whatever you want to call it. We sometimes make fun of it. But okay. That's alright. It does not appear to be open. From what I can tell anyways. Looks like it's closed. But, you know, it's suspected, it's Sunday, so what do you expect, right? But yeah, we filled her up in Steinbach and made sure we got plenty enough fuel now and on our way to Dryden. No 
hopefully uh, it won't be too heavy over there. I mean, I made sure that I didn't fuel her up like all the way, all the way as high as I could go. But speed limit reduced to half. All right, RJ, we're gonna slow her down a little bit. As soon as we enter Ontario, we got lower speed limits. So we have to slow down. But what I was going to say is, uh, I didn't fill her up all the way to the top. Like I filled her up till the nozzle clicked out, but I could have probably got another 80 liters in there or something like that. So that's a little bit of weight. So uh, that way, if the load is heavy, we'll be all right. Especially considering Minnesota has a 550 pound weight exemption for APU units. Should be all right. But here we are, coming into Ontario. Right about here, you'll see the sign here. People are trying to take pictures of it. And I guess they're going on a journey. They got some uh, Alberta plates on their cars, so. Crossing border, entering Ontario. All right there, RJ. It's official, welcome to Ontario. It's a beautiful time of the year though. Beautiful trees every once in a while. A lot of leaves have fallen off though. But yeah. Anyways, let's make our way down to our pickup. Alrighty guys, we have just gotten our loaded trailer. And so here we are. Making our way down towards the boat. Yes, indeed. I am happy, happy, happy that we are making our way further south. Yeah. Didn't take me very long here to do my trailer switch. Quickly had my 30 minute break, and here we are on our way already. Putting the hammer down, hammer down. That's right. see how far we can make it tonight. Alright guys, we are now in Fort Francis, Ontario. Oh yeah. NRJ is mad at me. Stay colder ahead. Yeah, he's screaming at me. Saying make a U-turn, turn here, turn there, and whatever. <laughs> it's because the road that I'm usually on is actually closed. And it has been closed for the last few times already coming meters, through here. Turn so. left on. Victoria Avenue, and then turn right on 210 know, meters. I know, you want me to go a different road, but this is the road we're going to go. We're going to go straight. We're not going to turn left just yet anyways. We'll go here a little bit further down, I think. A couple of more blocks, and then we'll make our left, and then... Uh, We'll be at the border here pretty soon. We'll be back in the United States of America. Yes, indeed. So let's get us across the border. And then we'll probably see you guys on the other side. I have shown International Falls Bridge there many times already. So I don't think we're going to show it today. Maybe another day. Alrighty, guys. We have made it to Superior, Wisconsin. Yeah, we couldn't really go too much further because there ain't too many truck stops past here. And so, you know what? I decided I'm gonna call it a day right here and that's it. So we had us a good night's sleep now. It's actually the next morning already. So I figured, well, we gotta finish off our video yet, right? So here we are. We're getting ready to roll again. But uh, when you watch, this is the day before, so. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and stick around for another one tomorrow coming up. So we'll see you then. Have a good one. I'll be sure to check out uh, our tomorrow's video. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.